Please join me in welcoming Senator Jackie Rosen. Good afternoon, everyone. I am so glad to be here with all of you today for today's uh, activation against anti-Semitism. And I want to thank the Jewish Federation and your work to support Jewish communities, not just around the United States, but around the world. And I want to thank you, of course, for the lovely uh, introduction and each and every one of you for being an important voice every place you go in this fight because we know what it really means. And like she said, I'm Senator Jackie Rosen, and I'm proud to be the third Jewish woman in the United States Senate. I'm proud to be the first former synagogue president in the United States Senate. And I don't know if I'm the first, but I'm proud to be an alumni of the Jewish Federation Young Leadership Program, where 28 years ago today, I sat like you at the Washington Hilton with 5,000 other young Jewish people from around the country on this very same trip you are on now, and here I am today. I have the picture of our day on the hill in my office when we met with my then senator, of course, retired Senator Harry Reid on our day on the hill. So there you have it. Uh, lots of long hair back then. But what I can say is being part of this group uh, really had a big impact on me. It reinforced my desire to be part of my own Jewish community, inspired me to try to make a difference in the lives of others. and. Some of the folks that were on that trip with me, well, I'm still friends with them today. And so I applaud each and every one of you for being here. And I know when one of you may be standing up here 28 years later, I know how long ago it was. It was the year I met my husband. I'll be married 28 years this year. Um, you're going to have the same friends, and you're going to inspire change, and you're going to be continue to be strong Jewish leaders everywhere you go because we need your ideas, we need your passion, we need your actions because right now it's a critical time in the Jewish community, it's a critical time in the United States, and I don't have to tell you what a critical time it is across the globe. And as Jewish leaders, it's up to us, it's up to us to find the problems and the challenges that impact our community. And it's up to us to bring people together as we work to find solutions because if we want to take part of tikkun olam, we truly want to repair the world, then it is up to each one of us to come together, to roll up our sleeves and do the repairing. You know, as a senator, it has been one of the guiding principles of the actions that I've taken. I'm going to give you just a few examples. When I first came to Congress before the Senate, I heard time and time again about the alarming rise of anti-Semitism across our country and around the world. Of course, no news to me being a Jewish woman, but hearing it in my official capacity. We've seen incidents of anti-Semitism on the news, and some of it have seen it, unfortunately, in our own communities. We've seen horrendous attacks on Jewish communities, Jewish-owned businesses, our synagogues, our places of worships, our day schools, our community centers. Cemeteries, I could go on and on. And these aren't isolated incidents. They represent a slide backward to the darkest chapter, one of the darkest chapters in our past. And those who committed these hateful acts, we know they wanted to send a message. They wanted to send the message that Jews have no place here. But I'll tell you what, we're all going to send a message right back a clear and forceful message back that we have a place here and we know it is our responsibility to condemn this rise in anti-Semitic violence and harassment unconditionally and unequivocally. Because we have a responsibility to stand in solidarity with everyone impacted by anti-Semitism. And we have a responsibility to take every action that we can to prevent it. So I decided to take that action myself in the Senate. 
and I created the first ever, first ever, Senate Bipartisan Task Force for Combating Anti-Semitism. Okay. In the last Congress, we had 38 senators on our task force, an even number of Democrats and Republicans. And this Congress, since we've kicked off the 117th, we have grown to 56 senators, equal amount, Democrat and Republicans. Anti-Semitism is not a partisan issue. And I'm proud to lead this group with my co-chair, Senator James Langford from Oklahoma, who has really worked so hard with me to combat anti-Semitism and making it a priority in the United States Senate. And at a time when, it, like I said, anti-Semitism, growing here in the United States, growing across the globe, one of the most effective tools that we have in the fight, really in any fight, but especially this one, is the power of education. Education leads to understanding, and through understanding, we can achieve tolerance and acceptance. Last May, the Never Again Education Act, bipartisan legislation that I introduced in the Senate to provide teachers with resources and training on Holocaust education, well, it was signed into law. And you know, I know this bill's enactment. It's not going to end anti-Semitic hatred overnight. But it is a positive and much needed step forward and acknowledgement. And this legisla legislative achievement, it would not have been possible without the hard work of leaders and organizations, including all of you to hear today through Jewish Federations of North America. So I thank you. I also serve on the Senate Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee, where we've supported the Nonprofit Security Grant Program, a critical lifeline for synagogues and JCCs and the like. And I'm excited to share that Congress took the important step of doubling, doubling the program's funding for this year, allowing places of worship, community centers, and other institutions to better protect themselves against the threat of violence and terror. And looking ahead to next year, we're going to try to double that funding again because we know the fight doesn't stop. And earlier this year, bipartisan legislation I worked on to elevate the state's department's special envoy to monitor and combat anti-Semitism. We're going to elevate that to ambassador. That was signed into law as well. So this law that elevates the special envoy to rank of ambassador, it's going to ensure that the United States has the necessary tools and resources and a person, a full ambassador at the head of this organization to combat anti-Semitism around the world so that my group in the Senate, the group in the House, all of the groups around the country and the world have a place to work with in this space in our executive branch, a full ambassador. And I was proud to lead the successful effort for doubling the funding for this critical position as well. And we're going to continue to increase the funding so that this ambassador, when named, will have all the resources at his or her disposal to continue the work in this area. And I can tell you that I've led the charge um, in calling for the Biden administration to swiftly nominate a qualified individual we need them today. It is urgent, and I hope that we have that person fairly quickly. But just last month, I want to mention that I also introduced and helped pass a bipartisan resolution that we spoke about condemning the recent acts of anti-Semitism, recommitting, recommitting the Senate to combating it, calling on our president to take concrete, concrete steps like fully implementing the Never Again Education Act. And something else that I'm very proud of is that last month, with my colleagues, Senators Cory Booker and Tim Scott, we launched the Senate's first ever caucus on black Jewish relations. <laughs> this bipartisan group, and everyone's welcome to join because it's about education and enlightenment 
and collaboration and communication. But this bipartisan group is gonna bring back together elected leaders from the black and Jewish communities, community leaders. It's gonna help strengthen black Jewish relations, bolster our mutual understanding, our shared history and commitment for social action, and work to combat both anti-Semitic and racist hate. And so when everybody stands firm, when everyone does their part to help make this world a better place, I know we can move mountains, and I know we can make it happen. It isn't easy, but you're all here today, and I know we can do it. And it's important that we continue to band together as friends, as community, that we hold up our faith and we hold up our values as a beacon of light, illuminating our path forward. And I have unwavering faith in the capability of our Jewish leaders and our friends and our allies that we can do our part to help make this world a better place and care for one another. I say to all of you who are uh, maybe young in this group, Lador Vador, 20-some years ago I sat there and now I sit here. I pass it on. We're passing on. This is what we do. We tell and retell these stories. We pass on the torch. We mentor others, and we do our part to repair the world. It is our obligation. It is our duty, and I believe the world is a better place for it. So together, we will, as you say, commit, commit to combat anti-Semitism, commit to make each of our corners, each of our communities, the place that we want it to be, that we know it can be. Thank you.